In 2024, the U.S. saw its share of worker strikes, from auto to ports to airlines, to some women's stoppage of accepting affection. Meanwhile, countries like China have moved heavily to automation, but with the strength of unions in the states, can it happen here? Coming up, I'll share with you two companies that are teaming up that will make resisting automation all but impossible. Stay tuned. The era of WorkerBot is upon us. Meet your new co-worker, Atlas, a fully electric humanoid robot developed by Toyota Research Institute, or TRI, and Boston Dynamics. This partnership combines TRI's Large Behavior Models, or LMB, with Boston Dynamics Atlas Robot to accelerate the development of general-purpose robots. This approach focuses on enabling large, pre-trained models to rapidly learn complex tasks through a combination of real-world and simulated testing. The research will also address key challenges in training humanoid robots, emphasizing full-body sensing and safe human-robot interactions. Coming up, we'll explore three really cool features on Atlas, but first, it's our premier product highlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Schneider Electric Multi-9 Circuit Breaker provides advanced multi-standard protection for OEM applications. Its mighty protection shields equipment from electrical threats like short circuits, earth leakages, and overloads. Featuring DIN rail module devices, these circuit breakers integrate seamlessly with various accessories, including push buttons, speed drives, HMIs, and PLCs. They come in a range of types such as miniature circuit breakers, residual current devices, and surge protection devices, ensuring optimal performance and protection. Fully compliant with industrial standards, the Schneider Electric Multi-9 circuit breakers are ideal for machines, industrial settings, and compact system applications. Head over to mauser.com today or simply click the link in the description to check them out. With machines increasing intelligence, the best thing for humans to do is learn, baby, learn. Here is David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. Well, every engineer loves having a good voltmeter nearby, but can you imagine trying to use a voltmeter like this every time you needed to monitor something that's happening in your facility? What if you had five different items that all needed to monitor the voltage constantly and all you had was these voltmeters to hang somewhere nearby and hold the connectors somewhere that's in a relevant position to be able to gain meaningful data? Well, that's just a pain. So instead, for permanent installations, we use a device that's known as a panel meter. These are just like a voltmeter, except instead of being handheld, they attach right onto the panel, as their name implies, and have permanent threaded connections to be able to input the voltage. These panel meters can be voltage, they can also be current, they can also be resistance meters as well. Now this one is what's called an analog voltmeter, an analog panel voltmeter. For every volt that comes into it, inside a spring changes and that changes the position of the needle. The reason it's analog is because there's no point at which we can't keep zooming in further and further and further and further to be able to see exactly what that voltage is. This is opposite of what we call a digital panel voltmeter. Now you've probably seen those on all kinds of different devices because their numbers look a lot like what we'd see here except usually they're colored LEDs, maybe red numbers or bright blue numbers. Those are digital panel voltmeters, and with those ones, we sometimes don't even see a decimal point. It might read only one or two or three volts. Sometimes they'll have decimal points of precision, but the problem is no matter how many decimal points we keep moving, there's a point at which we lose a little bit of precision. So for that reason, and for their simplicity, many people prefer using these analog panel meters because as they change, they continuously, smoothly change, giving you an idea of exactly what your voltage or current or resistance is at any time. Now you've seen devices similar to this, perhaps not voltage, but every time you drive a car, your fuel gauge, your engine RPM, your speed, all of these are controlled by these devices inside that move needles. And even in a car, we have analog meters, but we also have digital meters driven by stepper motors that are behind your dash moving in increments as your speed changes. So again, these are for permanent locations. That's not to say anything negative about these handheld meters because they're absolutely essential for an electrician's toolbox. 
But unless we want to be standing there all day long, holding a bunch of voltmeters and holding their leads to the right places, we can often use these very simple panel meters to install in a permanent location to give us an instant readout of hundreds of different points in our process where we need to be watching this voltage, current, resistance, or any other variable quantity in our process. Andy, back to you. Thank you, David. Atlas is the stuff of real sci-fi. It's agile, human-like movement, running, jumping, and navigating challenging terrain makes it one of the top humanoid robots out there. Equipped with 3D vision, LiDAR, and 24 movement axes, it can autonomously map and navigate environments. But Atlas has some really cool new features as well, one of which is its finger-like appendages that allows for basic object handling. Also, the robot has the impressive ability to correct its own mistakes. While its lightweight design and real-time motion enable independent leg and torso movement, for humans, that's going to be some stiff competition. I wonder if you could buy Atlas, have it get a job, and then keep the earnings. Well, we humans have to have some way to make a buck. Hey, that does it for us. Be sure to click on the link and see our other exciting and educational videos, and have a great day.